Be careful who you ask. I painted the, the Jag about two weeks ago and uh, I wasn't completely happy with the paint job. Um, I had a bit of an issue with paint. Uh, many of those who have been following uh, the site uh, know that um, paint was in this color, which is Sherwood Green, was hard to come by. So um, after only being able to purchase in the original formula one and a third quarts of paint, um, I really should should have had two quarts of paint in order to put a paint job on it. Um, it was a little bit light. My intention was to do a uh, to do a one stage paint job and to wet sand the car once it was painted and get any minor imperfections uh, if I had any, which I knew I probably would. Get those out and um, and then buff and polish the car like old school way. So. Um, I was finished. I had sanded it down from uh, 800 to 1,000, to then to ultimately 2,000, and I had the car then buffed. And uh, after being wet sanded, I it was buffed and ready to go. Uh, I asked my wife Andrea, who many people will know is a um, uh, somewhat bit of a perfectionist, somewhat, and I asked her what she thought of the paint job. And well, she I already had a glum face on. And she kind of turned and looked over at my Range Rover and our BMW and said, well, I kind of thought it was going to look like that. So she expected my old school, old style paint job to look like a Range Rover's paint job. So that led me to uh, source out some more paint, which I've done. I've now wet sanded the car uh, again, all the way down to um, um, some spots to get all of the imperfections out of it. And I now have another, uh, I have almost a full gallon of paint, so I'm not gonna have any issues or problems with the uh, uh, paint volume. And I am about to spray the car. It's now wet with a uh, cleaner, and uh, I'm gonna, uh, buff dry the car again before I put on the fourth and then the fifth coats of paint and then I will be wet sanding with 2000 uh, and then after 2000 then I'll probably simply um, be polishing it when I as I, again as I said I did buff it um, or wet sand it down and I had a couple of small imperfections that I took out and um, and then just kind of refilled uh, where necessary or uh, reprimed uh, where I went through um, if I went through on the corners or the edges through to the bare metal I'm using a um, uh, self etching primer uh, on the bare metal but at any rate here's the car uh, this is the existing paint job you can see uh, looking at the fluorescent lights it's not perfect I'm gonna flip the um, but uh, but we'll see what happens in the next uh, day and a half or so. I will uh, keep everybody uh, up to speed. And there you go. There is my 1966 Series 1 E-Type fixed head coupe.